In today's video, we have a special guest and I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can win some $5,000 player exclusive Jordans for 25 bucks. Let's get into it. All right, so we are here. We're with the legend. And I just need you to introduce yourself the way you would like to, <laughs> how you would like to be perceived in this world because there's so many different ways I could do it. Wow, uh, okay. My name is Joey Harrington. Yeah. Um, and I grew up in Northeast Portland. Dope. You know, that's the, that's, that's what it is for me is like this connection to, to home and mm -hmm. to family and mm -hmm. to community. Um, and obviously I went on and played football at Oregon and, and went on to the NFL. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was drafted by the Lions, I started, um, I started a foundation. Mm -hmm. Cause I always knew that I wanted to come back and, and, and give back in some way. Like mm -hmm. there, there's only, I would be naive to think that I, yeah, I worked hard. I worked mm -hmm. really, really hard. Right. But to think that I got to the NFL, I got to be a Heisman Trophy finalist, like sitting there in New York by myself right. without help from others, like that's just, that's naive. Right. And so I knew that I wanted to be able to give back to the community that, that helped me get there. So, um, yeah, so I, I started the Harrington Family Foundation and, and, and here we are, um, what, 20 years later, yeah. you know, running a, yeah. running a fundraiser to, right. to help some incredible students. So, Definitely. Yeah. So let's break down that real quick. I ran through the website. I'll pop that up right here on the screen for you guys to see as well. Uh, but if you look on here, as you can see, the entries are $25. $25. Everything's yep. 25 bucks. They have up to 5,000 entries. Yep. That's and what we're capping it. Yep. Right now. Um, the, and the, I had the other question too. Is it for you win both or is it two different? Oh winners? no, you win them both. Okay. You so got them both. A lot of people do ask that question. Like, is it, you're getting one or getting both or how's that going so yep. you can enter for 25 bucks and literally win two of these pe's but this one in particular let's start with this one and we'll get a little bit more info about how to enter a little bit later in the video yep. but let's start with the ones first because this one hits a little bit harder i think for you yeah this, this is yeah i mean there's there's kind of a a backstory to this mm -hmm. um in that Tinker Hatfield mm -hmm. was was one of the first mentors in our scholarship program. So what we do at the foundation is we give, every year we give four, four year scholarships mm -hmm. to graduating high school seniors from around the state. Okay. It's got nothing to do with their grades, nothing to do with test scores, mm -hmm. it's community leadership and mm -hmm. financial need. Okay, right? dope. And then we take those students and we connect them with mentors, mm -hmm. people who are in different areas, like the areas they wanna get into, the areas that they're interested in, mm -hmm. because yeah, money's money's great. Like you need money to go to college, no, for sure. but you need someone to open a door. Mm -hmm. You need someone to give you advice. You need someone to just be a a, a resource. Mm -hmm. And so we have a board of mentors, presidents of universities, state supreme court justice, business, finance, yeah, you know, yeah. um, marketing, uh, Wyden and Kennedy, healthcare, like all these industries that that students want to get into. Right. One of our first mentors was Tinker. Oh. And um, he's been such a huge supporter of our foundation and our program. You know, he is, it's, it's kind of busy. You know, he's a, Definitely. <laughs> you know, Definitely. Uh, he's around, not just around town, but like he's around the world busy. Yeah. Um, and so he's moved off of um, our, our mentor board, but I, I went to him a few years ago and I said, hey, hey, look, I'm, I'm looking for unique ways to raise money for our mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. And would you be willing to make make a shoe for us? Right. Because I'd seen, you know, he'd done some stuff for some of the other local auctions mm -hmm. that, that had raised some money. He said, yeah, absolutely. So he just said, send me, send me your logo, send me, you know, what are your colors? What are, you know, some, some ideas mm -hmm. and, and I'll put something together. And it was like, it went dark for like six months and then all of a sudden this box shows up. <laughs> <laughs> And, and so I was like, what the hell is this? And I open it up and there's five pair of, of Jordan one with our foundation, green and gray colors with Dope. our logo. Dope. Um, yeah. and, and he sent along like the, uh, the little, the little sketch pad that uh -huh. is like, all right, you know, here's what we got. Foundation colors. Here's the project. Right. Premium uh, material, only five pair. And of course, as soon as I got them, I, I just reached right out. I was like, I cannot thank you enough. Right. I, said, I hope, I hope this helps raise money for your students. Definitely. The Definitely. funny thing is like, I didn't know what to do with them. Right. Like this was, this was right, right at the start of COVID. Right. And so I was like, what do I do to, to use these 
like truly one of a kind. Like there's there's five pair of these in the world. They're right. all sitting they're sitting in my closet right, at home. Right, like, right. Uh, but I didn't like, I didn't want to waste them. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I wanted to make sure that whatever I did with them was able to generate the most money mm -hmm. for our students. Mm -hmm. And then and then the doorbell rings two months ago, and I was like, now we now now I know what we're right. doing. Right. Right. So that's kind of the uh, the transition to the 14 is he literally showed up on the door at, okay. at the doorstep and just ding dong with a with a, a box <laughs> a, a box in his hand. He said, "Hey, I, this is the shoe that I just did for the Oregon football team." Okay. And there's only you know we only made 275 of them. You know okay. it's, this one is number 42 of okay. 275, and I want you to use this to to raise money for your, for the students. And he signed it. And I was, we had just run an online raffle mm -hmm. that fall for uh, a barrel of bourbon. I was like, now, this now is, we got it. Now right, we got the, you right. know, we got the ones, we got the 14s, and I can push this out, and and I can do it nationally because there's there's so many people out there that, um, I mean, obviously, you know, love the love the shoes just just because they love shoes. Mm -hmm. But there's also a ton of people out there who one love the shoes but don't want to pay you know five thousand dollars yeah, for a yeah. you know it's a t so i was like this is a 25 dollar lot uh raffle ticket yeah, everybody yeah. has a chance and then there's the two like people who just want to help mm -hmm. like that's the thing i'm learning is there's people out there that just want to just want to do the right thing mm -hmm. so um that's that's why i love this story is because it's more than just shoes right it's community it's literally you know tinker just riding a skateboard down the street and ringing the doorbell and being willing to <laughs> help right being willing to help yeah like you know it, it, this is a guy who who has worldwide fame mm -hmm. but he still looks out for the people in in his home city in mm -hmm. his home state mm -hmm. um and he's got that connection, which I think is, which makes this even more special. Mm -hmm. So I love this because typically on the channel, I always say, we got to start out with the history first. That's what I always <laughs> say. And then I break it down. I tell everybody the story and stuff, but it's so much better when it's coming from you, right? It just sounds better. It just like, it makes me like, I need you to tell me the story for other stuff, even yeah. if it's not related to you, but it's, it's great. So now after we get to that part, I think people have a better understanding of kind of how it came about and how they popped up and then it just all aligned and it was just a perfect situation we'll get into the raffle details a little bit later let's break down the shoes a little bit more all and right. talk about all the details and i usually start from the bottom of the way up so we go from the jordan one and we do the 14 or we can do the 14 first it's, whichever hey, one it's your do. world i just live in it let's okay. you, you you run it so on the outsole right here we have an all green outsole this is like that deep forest green right mm -hmm. here i like this color a lot you got the white midsole with the white stitch right here, and then you have a white leather, a smoother leather with the tumbled leather on the back end. But see here, so is this, are you calling this white or are you calling that like a light gray? Like that's Ooh, the thing. actually. See, that's the thing that I like about, like, I think when I said, hey Tinker, our colors are green and gray. That's crazy. I See, he, we got the gray yeah. here, but I think this is a really light gray. It actually does look like that. Mm -hmm. Now I see it. Because he's got two tones of the green. Okay. Right? The And then I think, that's just my eye, but no, I, you no, know, my no, wife has sure. told me I don't have the best eye for color. Like she'll look at that and you know, it's what like a uh, like a not a smoke gray, but like uh -huh. a like a what is I, there's a paint that we use on houses. I think it's called like gray ice or something. Yep. Like, I forgot what it is, but I know I know I can see that now. I got hi, the light is it's shining, the light is, right? But that's that's what I was yeah. like. That's why it's so cool is because depending on what light is, definitely it it, it, it hits a little bit different. Because this is you know pure white. That's your pure yeah. white, but and there's your gray, but right. like right there is right in between. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a light lighter, very, very faint gray right here, smoother leather. And then we have a tumbled leather right here on the back end and then on the toe, on the top right here. Uh, what, it, what are some details on this sneaker that you really like? It's subtle, but there's a lot of cool details when it comes to the switch of materials, the colors, and then the color blocking of the shoe. Yeah, that, and, and, I, and I think that's what I, what I like is like, I didn't, I didn't say it has to be this green or it right. has to be like right. the change, you know, the, the dark forest green, mm -hmm. like the, um, I love the, I mean, is this a, is it technically a, is it like a, 
I don't want to say it's like a synthetic suede, but there's, you know how like on yeah. some materials, like depending on which way you push it, oh, yeah, it which way like the it, grain goes. Yeah, it looks like it for sure. Mm -hmm. And then the the different green with the, with the laces as mm -hmm. well. Like there's just, it, it just kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it grows, yeah, yeah. right? It grows yeah. and it flows. It flows well, mm -hmm. especially with it being like a dark and a light color on the shoe. I like that aspect as well. And I feel like the swoosh with it being green definitely brings it all together. Yeah. Uh, the bottom and the back end of the shoe right there. Well, and that's, and that's the thing too. Like people think that the green for the foundation is, um, is Oregon. Mm -hmm. It's actually, um, it's actually Ireland. Okay. Because, so like if you look at our logo, when we designed our foundation logo, we used Celtic knots okay. um, to make, to surround the H, right? Gotcha. Because gotcha. that's where my family's from, right? Gotcha. This whole, fa this foundation, this scholarship program, it's about community, it's mm -hmm. about family, it's about taking care of each other. It's mm -hmm. a, like, and so for me and my family, like our roots in Ireland, um, I mean, it, it goes it goes deep. I'm I'm still in touch with my family down in the Barra Peninsula, you know, Dope. southwest or uh, Ireland, and then got some family outside of Dublin. Dope. Like, and and that's the green for me is like it's this it's this connection to home, it's mm -hmm. this connection to family, connection to community. So it you know it just happened to be that Oregon was also green. So it's all like, uh, perfect. Yeah, exactly. That's what's up. That's what's up. So uh, you have kind of like a minty kind of colored lace right here. And this is actually more, a little waxy actually. It's got a flat wax lace right here. And then I know I stuffed them in here. The inside, but what uh, was the color laces? This was a forest green and a white lace on the inside of here? Yep. Okay, dope. So everything like that, um, I think I think this shoe looks really good. I'm interested to see what happens and who wins and if they actually post them. You know how people always win the giveaways and then they like never post it. You're like, who got the shoe? <laughs> and it was like, oh, it's like, uh, I'm interested to see what I'm happens. curious to see if they wear them. Yeah, Right. Know. You know, because some, you know, it, some people, you know, like that's what shoes are for yeah. me. Like you, it's a story. Like it's not something to sit on a shelf, right. like wear them right. and, 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 and have it be part. But some people, I understand like if, you know, yeah. there's only a few of them like out there. Trophy, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, oh, yeah. I gotta put it out there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this comes with your standard retro sample black uh, box with the white, or sorry, this has a gold jump man on here. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing like we were talking about earlier. This is the card that you saw. We just print, I just, version. Yeah, so yeah. we just sent over a digital copy mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, I just printed it and put it in the box. But um, it's, it's interesting. So whoever wins gets the digital copy mm -hmm. of the, um, of the, I don't call it a spec sheet or a project yeah. sheet. Yep. But Tinker also did an original piece of artwork. So. Um, for for the 14, okay. which, which comes with it as well. The thing that I like on, on the box is if you go, let's see, on the other side. So he did a, he did a size run. Oh, okay. This is the size 10. Dope. So there's, Dope. A, there's, there's an eight, nine, 10, 11. There may or may not be a 12 and a 13. Okay. And so this is the box that he just wrote. All right, here's the 10. Gotcha. And, and there we go. So that's, that's you know, it's, it's a, you know, it's a pretty standard box, but like to have that, like, this is the box of the 10 in that mm -hmm. size. Run, right, so. right, right. Yeah, they always have them like specially marked and everything. Love seeing that. So with the Oregon 14, now we saw this one, the players just recently got these mm -hmm. uh, for the last bowl game. I the think. Alamo Bowl, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they got those for the bowl game. And then now we're starting to see them surface a little bit more in the streets. A lot of people are interested in these, switch them up. You're wearing the gray pair. I got, yeah. The all gray 14s. With the, the embossed, uh, the little ducks all yep, over them. Yep. Yeah, and then there's a green version for like track, different teams like that. And then now we're seeing these. So some people are like, yo, how many 14s are they gonna give us? But then other people are like, these are clean. Like yeah. this is a really nice shoe. Like I love the colors and the patterns. So what do you think about the color blocking on this shoe in particular? Well, I think I, the thing that I saw at first was like it's so different from any of the other 14s mm -hmm. that he did. Like, yeah. like you said, he did like the, the olive green or kind of, I don't know if it's olive, but like kind of a, yeah. it wasn't an Oregon true green. It yeah. was a, and then the grays are just, you know, it's it's all gray, but right. the detail was like the little little ducks, like yeah. all down. Yeah, yeah. This one is, it's busy. Yeah. You know, the others, the, the original ones are just clean. These are, these are busy and it's, and it's a mix of, you know, like he, he, he did on the piece of artwork. He said it's a synthetic suede and, you know, and then, you know, you got the, the two, you know, almost the, um, 
what is it a neon right i, I like what it is that i always volt? call it vault is that yeah. volt okay. remember the vault era back like 10 years ago when right. Volt was popping but it's starting to see it come back more and more on uh oregon jordan pe's in mm -hmm. particular we're starting to see that a lot more often now but see here's the thing again like so you got green you got volt this is is it a dark dark green Got you. Oh, is yeah, it? you got the eye for the because, color. Because, <laughs> because, no, no, no. Like, remember our uniforms back in 2000, uh, in when, when Oregon switched over to the, the new uniforms, yeah. which are now old, in 99, yeah. everybody thought they were black. But oh, it was just yeah. this dark, dark yeah, green. Yeah, and yeah. I almost wonder if it's, I don't know. You got to ask the guy himself. Yeah, but it's, I, like the, it's like the picture on the internet when they're like, is it gray or is it blue or whatever? You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, looking at it here next to all of the, the different greens, yeah. You know, it, I could see it being a little bit, you know, and that really, really dark green. That undertone but it's, to mm -hmm. it. I see that. I yeah. see that. Okay. But, but I love the, you know, you, you got the, I, I used busy a minute ago, mm -hmm. but like, it's unique. Yeah. It's, you've got the duck and the Ferrari badge. Yeah. You've got the, you know, the, the different, the toe box is different than the, than the sides, the yeah. perforated sides, the, you know, the pattern and the, like, there's a lot of stuff going on with the shoe, mm -hmm. but it all fits, mm -hmm. you know. It's Definitely. Not like, it's not like Tinker does anything that doesn't fit, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's coming together really uh, clean for sure. I think this is a nice shoe. Um, on the bottom, I showed a little bit ago, right here, you got your classic Air Jordan 14 outsole, all black right here. And then you got that green. That's similar to the upper. It's a little bit lighter or a little bit darker though, huh? The, the, the Jumpman and the, the pod looks a little bit like a lighter, not as prominent. Come. Um, and then on the back end, you got white right here. Wrapping up to the midsole, same thing. Silver, green, white. Little hit right there for the tail lights on the car with the tire. <laughs> I always love that feature on the Jordan on 14. The, the Ferrari. A, yeah, uh, yeah, I love that. Every like every shoe's got a, like a different story. Mm -hmm. Like there's a different, um, you know, inspiration to it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's what I like. Yeah, there's a lot of cool elements to this sneaker. So um, I'm assuming if you were to pick between these two shoes, you would go with the ones, or I'm, would you actually go with the 14? I mean, I got like personally, like if I'm gonna take the. I want to say the sentimental out of it. Yeah, I'm more of a I'm more of a one than fourteen. Guy. Okay. Okay. Like if I'm going three, eleven. Okay. One, mm -hmm. four, five. Ooh. I think that's where. Come I, on, man! You gotta I put think, the sixes in there, man. <laughs> oh, I, no, I'm not a six guy. I, I don't know. That's so. I would I would go there personally. Okay. But I mean, I. How many people can say, like they have, like th that's what's so, I, I've got a, my foundation, our, our community, yeah. our yeah. family, like on a, on a Jordan one. Yeah. Like that's that, I mean, of course I, I, I have to, to go with Definitely. that. I mean, just Definitely. because it's such a, um, I don't know. Like I, I can't even think of the right word. Like the more I do this, the more, you know, that we've been running this this raffle the mm -hmm. last couple of weeks, like the more I realize how um how special it is. Mm -hmm. Like there's um and and to see what it represents Definitely. and the community that it represents and how Tinker's part of that Definitely. and how he has wrapped his or taken his worldwide success and still kept it home. Like that's, it just means a lot. So um, yeah, without getting too sentimental, okay, I'm gonna pick the one. <laughs> well, that's what's up. And I, yeah, hopefully in the future we can do some follow-ups with some yeah. of the students and hear some more stories and different things like that as well. Well, so here's the thing too, like Tinker signed these. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like this is, cause it's sitting yeah. on the outside here. Yeah. Like, so this is, I mean, you wanna talk about like the holy grail mm -hmm. of, of of Jordans like this is how many how many right. yeah sure there's only 275 of of these that were made right but there's only one that Tinker signed right right, right. like this is I can understand we talked a minute ago like I want to see people wearing those like if Tinker like if 
if Jordan signed a shoe, yeah. I, I'm not going to be wearing it. Like, you know, like Tinker signed the shoe, I probably wouldn't wear that either. Right, so I can right. understand like this being on a shelf. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. definitely makes sense. Okay, so let's give them the final details um, so we can wrap it up for them and the entry. Make sure, as you guys are watching this video right now, make sure you guys enter like today because the time <laughs> is running out. We're getting close to the date. The final date is on the 19th. 19th, we're, at, we're like right before midnight. 11.59 like okay. and then we actually draw live on TV on the okay. 20th. On the yep. 20th. So yep. You guys have until the 19th. Uh, I know some people will be watching this video months later and be like, damn, I missed out. Next but either year. way, Next either year, way, right? yeah, you guys have other things on the website too. So click on that link and then go to the website, check out the foundation. Still, you can donate, you can still do those things, even if you aren't entering into the raffle. And if you wanna just support or anything like that, that's still gonna be an option throughout the entire year. So you don't have to worry about that if you still wanna support. Um, and yeah, 5,000 people, $25. Yep. Uh, there's people that are currently entered now. You're gonna win both of these if you win. win. And, and let's let's be honest, like we set up 5,000 because 5,000 gives us 125 grand mm -hmm. and that endows a scholar or a scholarship in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. Like we can give that scholarship every year forever. Right. Are we gonna hit 5,000? I hope so. Yeah. But right now we're, we are less than five thousand right okay. now. So if okay. you're saying, "Man, I don't want to," I don't want a one in five thousand chance to odds win these. Higher. Your odds are a little bit higher. Right odds now. are higher. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, if you enter, so say you do a hundred bucks, is that like four entries That's or four entries? Okay. Okay. So that I'm sure everybody got these questions. You know, so like there, there you go. Like every every twenty five bucks is one entry. Okay. You know, okay. so every time it's every time you buy a ticket, your odds go up just that much more. Okay. So if you donate forty nine dollars, you still got one entry. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta hit that 50, right? <laughs> Just gotta get one more down. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's gonna be good. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the detailed shots. And if you guys wanna see him on the channel more or hear any more stories, let's blow up the comment section so we can get him <laughs> on the channel more. I know he got some crazy stuff for us. We'll see him in the future one day. Uh, I'll let you do your sign out and then we can get out of here. Oh man, I got I got nothing to sign out other than just say thank you. Thank okay. you for letting me come to you and and use your platform to help the community. I mean, that, that's that's literally what this is all about is, is at the end of the day, yeah, it's it's some cool it's some cool Jordans. It's yeah. some unique, one of a kind, holy grail type Jordans. But what this all goes towards is students. Definitely students who need who need access, who mm -hmm. need a door open, who need a hand just to say, man, I love your ideas, I love your work ethic. Yep. Let me help. Yep. Um, and that's that's what makes it really cool for me is we get to do something fun. And at the end of the day, um, you know, we have our family dinner coming mm -hmm. up here with all our students. This oh. is year 10 of our scholarship. Damn. So we got 40 students, That's fine. 16 are in school. Um, they're come back and they get to be resources mm -hmm. and they get to be, they get to be mentors and mm -hmm. they get to, they get to be part of the family and, and help open our door. So every year we grow, every mm -hmm. dollar we grow, every, you know, every time somebody clicks on it, we just, we expand, that network, mm -hmm. that, that network of resources for our students. So I appreciate yeah. you letting me use your platform yeah. as a way to, yeah. to tell our story and, and you know talk about the incredible students that, that we got. I just getting goosebumps thinking about it. I'm from Northeast Portland as well. So for me, like this all hits home the same exact way growing up, especially watching you play as a young kid. And I was telling you when <laughs> I met you, I looked it up. We were talking about it before, the lights okay. out game. It was a year after you left. I was like, I swear I, like, <laughs> I wasn't in that. I, I remember it, but I wasn't playing. The that's yeah. right, it was a year after you left. Yeah. So I appreciate you, thank you, and uh, we'll see you guys in another video. Make sure you guys go enter and donate either way, and uh, yeah, we out. Appreciate it. All right. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Plus in my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make when I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA